Okay, given that we're now working on the variance of a posterior mean, given that we have a normal likelihood and a conjugate prior, the prior being a normal m s squared, a likelihood based on n samples will mean that you have a normal y bar sigma squared over n. The variance of your estimator of the mean is the variance of 1 over s squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared. These are in terms of the precision of the prior divided by the precision of the likelihood plus the precision of the prior times your prior mean plus the precision of the likelihood divided by the precision of the likelihood plus the precision of the prior times your sample mean. Well, this bit here is all constant, so that will go to zero. It has no variance. So this is the same as the variance of n over sigma squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared y bar. Take this out. This bit here is a constant, so it's n over sigma squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared, all to be squared times the variance of y bar. And this is the mean from a normal with n samples, based on n samples, so you know that the variance of y bar is sigma squared over n. Here we're all assuming that we know our variance sigma squared. So the variance of the Bayesian estimator of the mean of the posterior is n over sigma squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared all to b squared times sigma squared over n. Note that the variance of the estimate of the um, frequentist estimator is this because your frequentist estimator is just y bar. We can do a little bit of simplification here to show that this is n s squared divided by n s squared plus sigma squared to be squared times sigma squared over n. So the mean square of your estimator brings together your bias and your variance. So your mean square of the estimator of mu hat b is the bias squared plus the variance. Previously, we've shown that the bias is sigma squared divided by n s squared plus sigma squared times m, which is the mean of the prior minus mu, the true mean. So that's your bias, and we square all of this, and then we add it to the variance, which is n s squared n s squared plus sigma squared all to be squared times sigma squared over n. You can do some simplification about this, really. You What you really want to consider is compare to the mean square of the frequentist estimator, which is sigma squared divided by n. And in practice, we would plot the two for different values of the true mean. And we'll see how close we did. We'll notice that the better our uh, prior is at estimating the actual true value, the smaller our var bias becomes. This number here is smaller than 1. So this, this part, the variance part, is less than the variance, less than or equal to, strictly, of... Um, our estimator here.